Okay, I think the assembly of the trike is best uh, done by uh, beginning with the front wheel here. Uh, so what you're going to need is you're going to need the hardware for the landing gear uh, and uh, you're going to need these uh, uh, tubes here. You're going to be using the bottom tubes and the diagonal tubes along with two P-clips. You're going to need the uh, two bolts here, two nuts, you're going to need the metal long screw. You're going to need the two spacers. The spacer goes between the wheel here and the, and the P-clip. And there's another spacer behind the wheel that act as a bearing or bearings for the, for the wheel so that it spins smoothly. And you're going to need a lug nut for the uh, long screw. So start with this installation first. Now, the way to differentiate some of these uh, tubular sections, this one at the bottom, the ones that form the bottom section have a longer flat section here, so that goes in, in first. The diagonal ones have a flat section at the front. It's shorter than, than the bottom ones. And these also have a flat section at the rear, which are at, at the rear here, which are at 90 degrees from the front ones. So that's how you identify these two diagonal sections. The bottom horizontal ones, as I said, this, is, uh, this has a flat longer section and the rear is, is also flat in line. So once you identify those, you can assemble this as uh, discussed. Do that assembly first. The next thing you want to do is you want to attach the axle. Now the axle is uh, one single piece. It doesn't have any flats and it's straight tubular section. And you're going to take that before you assemble it to the frame here. You're going to take the ends of the axle and insert you're going to need to insert these uh, pieces here, these tubular sections. These need to be inserted into one per end of the, uh, on the axle or inside the axle uh, tubular section and these act as retainers for the screws that are going to hold the wheels in place. You need to do that. Without these parts, the screw is just simply going to float inside the axle. So these are retainers. These uh, clips are to do the front end here. Front section of the wheel. So those are the, the clips for that. And of course you have the, uh, the spacers that we talked about for the front wheel. There's two shoulder washers here that form the bearing surfaces here. There's just a washer between the wheel and the P-clip. The long bolt which makes up this assembly and the two bolts for the rear wheels and of course the wheels. So that takes care of that assembly. Once you have that axle assembled with the wheels, take your hardware take the hardware for the trike and start by attaching the uh, bottom tubes to the axle using clips as we have uh, installed here. You're going to use a clip, a bolt and a nut. Very simple. You're going to use this, the shorter hardware. The two long ones, reserve those for, for last. So you assemble the sides. This is already assembled and you're going to be able to to attach this next. Now for the purpose of uh, getting this built right away, just eyeball the height here, which is about one to about three, three to three and a half inches in height. Do not tighten these bolts and nuts right away. Leave it loose so that you can make adjustments uh, once you attach the rest of the parts that make up the trike. And once that's done, you tighten everything up and it'll be a solid frame. So do that next, do these connections next. Now I'm just showing one side for simplicity, but you're going to have to mirror that connection to the other side. Next thing you want to do is you want to install the front tubular sections here using the same idea with a peak clip, the bolt, and the nut. Follow that through. This is going to be loose at the time. I forgot to mention that these need to be installed 
in order for you to make this connection here for the diagonal braces. So you're going to do that first and then make that connection. It's very simple. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to in install this brace here, the horizontal brace for the seat. Very similar fashion. Now, I hope this video is catching this, but the way these clips are attached to these uh, con connection points, I use the, the flat end of the, the clip facing the outside and the curved end of the, the, the clip to the inside. It just provides a little more, uh, a, better, uh, uh, a, a better finish from an aesthetical point of view. So use the P-clips, the curved section or the, the, the one that have the step towards the inside of the frame and the flat side towards the outside. Keep that in mind throughout the uh, assembly of this uh, trike. So we're going to uh, finish off with the, uh, the top section here. This is the square part that we talked about from the uh, trike kit. You're going to use that square part and this square part has been pre-drilled uh, to accept uh, these connections here. So you're going to use the, the two longer bolts which are part of the hardware kit for the trike. Use the longer bolts through the tubular sections and two nuts to hold them in place. And that basically uh, completes the, the trike assembly. Now at this point you, you're still going to have the connections uh, a little bit loose because you want to install the seat and also the, what we're calling the front panel here as well as the battery plate. So take your seat uh, and the hardware associated with the seat and panel assembly and start at the back. Now the, the seat is a little bit curved here. It's molded curved so that it seats on the horizontal brace a little bit better. Uh, focus a little bit closer here. Okay, so you're going to take your hardware and simply uh, install it and the seat is already perforated so that these uh, attachment points can be done uh, quickly. You don't need to do any pre-drilling or any cutting or any uh, fussing with that. The way the uh, front panel is uh, mounted, we overlap the front panel over the seat edge here, this lip here, and use a clip, nut, and bolt per side. One here and one there. This part is also perforated so you can do this assembly easy. Now in this particular video and I believe in part one I also indicated that we're showing this clip that there's an additional clip here which has not been bolted or screwed onto the to the molded part. It's just a clip and this is uh, optional. I don't know if I included uh, extra clips in the kit to do this but it doesn't um, it doesn't hurt to have it on or not have it on. That completes the installation of the seat and front panel to the trike. Section here is the uh, battery plate, which is a wooden part. It's been uh, also a uh, CNC machine to uh, have the perforations for the for the battery straps and the perforations for the mounting bolts. Same idea. Use the, the clips, nylon bolt, and a nut to secure at these four locations, right on the, fr on, the, on the base of the trike. These are the battery straps that are, have been inserted and are just held loosely here. And they're the ones that secure the battery. Now before you do this installation, I forgot to mention that you need to put the rubber pad, uh, the, um, the foam sticky pad mid-section in the uh, base plate and that is just to provide some cushion to the battery so it doesn't slide back and forth once you hold it in place and you strap it with the uh, velcro straps so that's how that part is uh, installed and that completes that installation to the trike the next thing you need to do to complete the uh, the uh, conversion is uh, install these braces here these are carbon rod braces that have been attached to the trike frame 
as well as uh, two points on the wing. You have a point here, and this is, if you look at these uh, rib uh, uh, indentations here, you can just take the first, second, and third rib and mark where you're going to clip this, and you're going to have to punch a little hole there. I would put the clip there and punch a little hole with a small uh, tubular uh, sharpened end, either brass tubing or you can use a drill bit. If you carefully do it, you can also use a small screwdriver just to punch through. So that's how that's done. You're going to need to perforate that at that point there and also at the uh, at the rear of the wing, the trailing edge of the wing, half inch from the uh, end here. And repeat that for the other side of the wing. So you're going to need to do that first, do those perforations, and begin by attaching the, uh, the clip. This is a dual clip connection here. So you're going to need two clips, and these clips are, and the hardware is, is part of the uh, wing strut uh, assembly package. Let's invert this, this wing so we can look at the, the way this is done. Okay, there are two clips here. There's one clip that's supporting the, uh, the other clip. And one of these clips is supporting a rubber piece. There are four pieces, four rubber pieces or connectors to allow to make this connection here with the carbon rods. These four smaller ones are for the uh, for the upper sections of the wing, the connections that make up the upper sections, the sections two per wing, one here at the front, one at the rear, and one at the other side front, and one at the other side rear. That makes up four pieces. And so that's how that connection is done. Dual clip. This clip sits underneath the top clip and this supports the uh, rubber connection to the carbon rod. Bolt and, and nut at the bottom. The connection to the trike is done in similar fashion. You're going to need two clips one to connect to the tubular section here and another one that floats and has the longer rubber connector here. These are press fit connectors, rubber connectors that allow you to make this connection with the two carbon rods. And that's simply, let's see if I can get a better, better shot here, and that's simply uh, inserted into this uh, P-clip with a uh, about the same amount of length at each end to allow these connections. Nut and bolt to secure that. Keep in mind is the distance of this uh, location of this uh, connection here from the uh, end here, from the ends. It's about midway. It's a little bit forward of the midpoint. And you might need to adjust that to make sure that the wing, once you're done with that connection, the wing is level. There are no warpages in the wing. You want to achieve a, a flat, even, uh, 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 can, uh, even uh, installation for the wing. So look at the wing and see if, there, if it's warping a little bit. If it's warping a little bit, you can move this, this connection here forward back or forward rear. So try to achieve an even, an even wing surface when you do this connection. And you should end up with an even surface if you follow the, uh, the instructions here and you uh, make this connection where, where it's at. Uh, you mirror image this installation to the other side and that completes the installation of the uh, struts to the wing.